Hey guys, so coming to the third problem of today's weekly Lead Code Weekly 414 contest. Um, yeah, so it was reach end of error with max score, and what you want to do is uh, okay, it's 925. Okay, so here you're given an array, and you want to you're standing at starting from index zero. You want to go to index basically the last index, and you can only jump in a forward direction. And if you let's say you jump from index i to index j, then the score for that jump would be the difference of that index multiplied by whatever number was uh, at index i. Okay, and you want to return the maximum possible total score by the time you reach the last index. So pretty straightforward problem. We'll just walk through an example quickly. So one three one five. Here it's saying that jump to index one, which is from here we go to three. And from 3 it's saying to jump to 5. So now our score would be 3 minus, sorry, our score would be 1 into 1 because the index is 0 base, 0, 1 to 3. So 1 minus 0 is 1 into 1, that's 1 into 1 plus uh, 1 to 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2, okay, into 3. 3 is my this number. So sum of that is 7. So here is they are claiming that okay this is the maximum possible total score and just need to print the maximum score. For example, for this case it's 16. You directly from zero you make a jump to here. Uh, constraints are 10 is to 5, 10 is to 5 obviously. Okay, so big constraints. Um, okay, let me explain the problem. Uh, so here we just need to consider a greedy strategy. So when let's say with three indexes i j k and let's say you only two index uh, i j k and you're making jump like this i to j j to k and another choice is i to k so here your score would be j minus i n i plus k minus j n j and in what condition is this score greater than k minus i n i okay so if i able to find this condition our problem is solved so if you simplify this, uh, you'll get like um, j minus k n i okay plus k minus j n j should be positive um, that implies that j minus k n i is less than j minus k and j so basically i just took this term to the left side to the right side and multiplied this term by minus one because when you take it to the left you just multiply by minus one and now uh, you just cancel j minus k and j minus k and you get ni should be less than nj that's the condition sorry someone is at my door So n i should be less than n j. That's what we get from here. So it's only beneficial to do this jump when your n i is let's say n i and then j is nj so if this is less than this then it's beneficial to do this else it's beneficial to directly jump to k so yeah that's <laughs> now we know this so obviously if you're starting from index zero you want to go to a higher index so you just uh, basically implement this so the implementation looks like this your previous is the index where you're currently standing which is zero answer is zero and you're now looking at index one. So if you see that the nums of p is my previous index, if my nj is greater than ni, then I just make a jump over there and add to the answer and my previous index becomes i. And else, now this is an edge case here is saying that, okay, if my, let me make this video private public. Sorry guys, save. Um, I'll just quickly, publish this video okay 
So yeah, that's what you do over here. Uh, so if you reach the last index, so regardless of ni being greater than nj or less than nj, we want to make the jump from previous index always because we want to land over here no matter what the condition is, right? Because that's our destination. Because so that's why I'm checking this case. If uh, we didn't meet this criteria, then in we don't want to miss jumping to the last index, right? So that's what I'm doing here. You just jump to the last index minus the previous index and numbers of p. What are the answer is you just written the answer. That's the code. So thank you guys for watching. That was third problem. Thanks.